Is there a link between IBS and vitamin D? Well, it's interesting to note that the vitamin D receptor is expressed in the gut and the nervous system, and it's thought to regulate the gut brain function neurotransmitter levels and serotonin synthesis. So we know that that gut brain connection is very important when we're talking about our overall health and how our brain and our emotions function, but also in terms of, of course, our digestive health. Now in this study, 90 male and female participants between the ages of 18 and 73 were sought to determine the effects of 50,000 international units of vitamin D3, so that's a big dose, and this was taken once every two weeks, and they were looking for IBS severity of symptoms and perceived quality of life. So what they found in this research study was that the use of that vitamin D supplementation at that 50,000 international units appeared to be effective at mitigating the symptoms and severity of IBS, approximately 15% above placebo, so that's a good percentage in terms of improvement over placebo placebo with the greatest symptom improvements occurring in regard to abdominal pain. So it's something to think about and it's not always about supplementation when we talk about vitamin D, which is very important of course if you're not getting vitamin D in your natural environment, but I always refer to natural sunlight exposure to get the right amount of vitamin D on your skin as your body is now converting it to that active vitamin D3. So something to think about. Now in another study, approximately 70% of the participants reported that a high dosage of supplementation of vitamin D improved their IBS symptoms. Now, how do we maximize our vitamin D? How do we get better from IBS in general? Well, I've got a tip for you. Follow Mother Nature's prescription. So you've probably heard me talk about this in other videos. That means grounding, getting outside, getting your bare feet on the earth at least, at least once a day. I like to try to do it at least three times a day, definitely at sunrise and at sunset and getting that natural healthy sunlight exposure throughout the day. Those different wavelengths from the sun have different healing effects on your body. And certainly if you are very low in vitamin D, you may look at supplementing in a safe way. I've got other videos on how to do that effectively. So today I explained the connection between IBS and vitamin D. I hope that you learned something new. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Now for more tips how to improve IBS, check out my video, Nine Tips for IBS. I'll see you there.